Hello there, my name is Ryan Links PSI, the developer of Super Smash Bros. NCFC 2018 has just begun, and I have released a new version of Super Smash Bros. for the Commodore 64 and ZX Spectrum to celebrate. So, without further ado, let's get into the brand new update. Now, you may be excited to see the new characters being added to this version. Well, I've already teased in most of the new additions to the roster, there's still two to show off. So without further ado, here they are. What did you think? Bungo is a returning veteran from older versions of the game. Nama is a brand new character from the webcomic Dream Keepers. This is the first time a character had like this has been added, so please welcome her with open arms. If you took a look during the character trailers, you may have noticed a box in the corner of the screen. That's right, there's now a mini-map that shows where your character is when they're off screen. This makes it easier to recover and or fight off stage. Every character has also gotten balancing buffs and nerfs as well. Yes, you read that correctly. We have found a way to get online mode working. Sort of. First of all, you will need to join the official Super Smash Bros. Discord server. Afterwards, you will need to install a program called Parsec. It only works on Windows 10. Sorry everyone else, you'll unfortunately just have to wait. Once Parsec is installed, you can add people from the Discord as friends so you can battle them. Once you are ready to play, you can either be the host or join your friends game, and you're good to go. The competitive scene in the Discord is pretty large, so if you're interested in going pro, you may want to keep this in mind. Last, but not least, a training mode has been added to the game. It may look confusing at first, but once you understand what it says, you'll be getting the hang of characters in no time. There's also options to change the music track to any song in the game, as well as slow down the action so you can read the attack stats. I hope you have fun with this update. 
as it will be the last update for a while. Do not worry, I am perfectly fine. However, I have wanted to work on some other projects for a long time now. I have been working on Supra Smash Bros for nearly 4 years now, and so I think it's fair for me to take an extended break until spring of next year. There may not be any updates until the summer of 2019. Until then, I will still be active in the Discord and working on other projects that have been on the back burner for a while now. After this break, updates will be less frequent so that I can focus on my other projects as well, but Smash Bros will not be ending anytime soon. Trust me, you would know if it was going to truly end for good. The new update should be out by now, so without any more delay, Happy Smash Bros.